In the past, I have made quite a few rather weird contraptions. So I thought, let's make something that's actually functional. We've got the dual screen Game Boy Advance SP over here, of which, by the way, a kit will be available very soon. Follow me on Twitter to find out more information. Uh, we've got the left-handed Game Boy, which didn't need to exist. Left-handed people could play the regular Game Boy. We've got the elongated Long Boy. Does it play Fortnite? There's no real need for this thing, to be honest with you. And then we've also got the Game Boy Macro, which is just a regular Nintendo DS Lite with the top screen removed. So if anything, it's actually downgraded it quite significantly. So I thought, let's take two things that are very popular. The Game Boy Advance, probably the most modded handheld of 2020. People are filling these with IPS screens and battery mods and amplifier mods and all the rest of it. And the form factor of the beautiful Game Boy Advance SP with that clamshell design that protects the screen, makes it nice and pocketable. Let's take both of those things and let's make something better. Enter the Turbo Express. Hang on, that's not right. Enter this thing. This right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is very awkward, I'm gonna move one of these. <laughs> this by far is what everyone dreamt the first Game Boy was. It has the beautiful backlit screen. This has actually got an IPS display in here because, uh, well, everybody wants an IPS these days. The viewing angles are great, the image is very crisp, and it has the vastly superior form factor of the Game Boy Advance. The SP was very sort of cramped and everybody didn't really like that a lot, so I've taken the best of both worlds and created this, and I'm really, really pleased with it. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at how I made it. Now, uh, yeah, there's a lot of work that went into this. This is three days straight of work, so I really, really hope you enjoy this video.
And that brings us to here, assembly. I have decided to do this a little bit differently. Usually I would sort of montage the build and then do my normal voiceover with some fancy music. But I thought because this is quite an exciting moment, let's get my live reaction to building this thing. So everything has come out looking pretty nice. Uh, it's definitely darker than the regular silver. I wanted to go for a platinum slash silver um, Game Boy for two reasons. One, because it's sort of an original color and I try and do that with my builds. Um, I know that I could do like a fancy paint job or some art or whatnot, but I kind of like these looking like they're actually originally made from Nintendo. So that's one reason. And the second one is I'm paying homage to my first ever Game Boy, which was a silver Game Boy Advance. So um, this isn't perfect. I've spent many hours trying to get this uh, perfect. And for the most part, it's not too bad. Hopefully you can see that there, the seam on the back is pretty much invisible. However, there is a tiny little bit of uh, um, a mark going along just this underpiece here, but I'm not too bothered by that. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks. The first thing we're gonna tackle is actually assembling the whole hinge part uh, portion of this uh, Game Boy. So here we go, let's take our hinges and slide those in. Okay, there's one. Boom, there's two. It's a little bit stiff, but that's okay. I have obviously been painting things and stuff, but that is solid. That is super solid on there. It feels uh, absolutely legit. Closes perfectly. A little bit of a sort of an overbite uh, going on there, but that's not too bad. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our screen. Now for this, I'm going to attempt to use uh, an IPS screen. Uh, I don't know whether or not this is gonna work because what I'm doing is running it through this ribbon cable adapter, which goes into a Game Boy Advance. So this is the ribbon cable that is for the uh, IPS screen. And what we'll do is plug it into the adapter. Okay, and then let's take the Game Boy Advance itself and plug the ribbon cable in. And let's try and plug this in. Now that goes like that. Oh wow, it freaking works. Hell yes, okay, that is outstanding. So what we'll do, begin with, is take some double-sided tape, stick that onto the back like that. Excellent stuff. Okay, now let's take the Game Boy, I don't even know what we're gonna call this thing yet, um, and I'll peel off this protective film. Look at that. Okay, and then stick it in there. We need to now roll the ribbon cable through the hinge. All right, that is in. Uh, now included with this uh, is some foam stuff. I think I'm actually gonna use this just to ensure that everything's held down. But before I do that, I'm gonna cover this in Kapton tape to make sure we don't short something and it explodes. Okay, then we can take this piece of foam padding type thing and uh, see if that all closes up nicely, which it does. Oh, okay, screws, where are they? There is the first screw. Okay, there we go. The screen is now in there. Look at how sleek that looks. I'm gonna uh, put the screen protector back on now just to make sure that everything is uh, protected from scratches. Now what we can do is cover up the ribbon cable with the hinge cover that we've also spray painted silver as well. So that just goes into there like that. Okay, there we go. That is the hinge cover in. So this is now where everything gets a little bit scarier because we now actually need to put the motherboard of the Game Boy Advance back into the shell. Uh, and there's quite a lot of fiddly stuff that's gonna have to take place in order to get that to work. So the first thing is that we've got an external port for the Game Boy Advance that goes just there. So I've had to clear a bunch of room underneath there in order for it to, uh, in order for the ribbon cable to 
just sit out of the way, but I think I'm actually gonna take my flush cutters and remove a bit more material. So the final thing to do is just put everything back together. I'm very, very nervous. So of course the ribbon cable adapter has to go in first and then we take the motherboard. So let's put all our buttons in. Putting the motherboard in now. This is very nerve wracking. Now we've got this little cartridge shield going in and that is pretty much the last step before just screwing the back on. Right, the back is going on now. Where's our battery cover? Here it is. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, it works! We are done. I actually can't even believe how beautiful this thing looks. I'm gonna take this screen protector off now. Um, I am so pleased with how it's turned out. Can you, for a moment, just appreciate this thing's beauty. Unfortunately, two things, I didn't have silver covers to go over this. So either black buttons would have looked better or silver covers. Um, also the retro modding screens don't have Game Boy Advance written on them. And then the other thing as well is I can't find a sticker to go on the back. The only stickers I have uh, have a branding from a company on it, so I don't really want to stick that on there. Um, but the back looks absolutely gorgeous. To be honest with you, everything looks gorgeous. I am so, so happy with this. Now, we don't know yet if it works, if it plays a game, because I haven't put a game in the back. So let's plug the game in and turn it on. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> look at it. Oh, my word. That is unreal. Right, press start. And just like that, we are into Pokemon and this thing works and it works well. I honestly cannot believe it. I mean, realistically, the only thing that wouldn't be working is the screen. Everything else is exactly the same. Our L and R buttons work fine. The start button is a little bit sticky, uh, and that I think is just because when I was putting the body filler um, in the shell, a little bit of body filler got stuck down there. But look at that. We have no brightness controls. I didn't solder them in or anything. But look at what we've got. It's a, This is the most beautiful thing. I am so, so pleased with this. And it's so comfy as well. I, I really do think this is probably the nicest way to play Game Boy Advance games. We've got an IPS screen. Yeah, maybe I could do a sound mod on there to get the sound a little bit louder, but that is just absolutely unbelievable. Just take a look at that. I'm so, so happy with uh, with the work that I've done here. Um, I really, really hope you enjoy it and that you agree that it's a really cool thing. Massive shout out to Odin753 on Reddit. Uh, he was the first person to do this and uh, without him, I wouldn't have had the idea. Hopefully I've done yours justice, mate. Um, I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you left a comment saying, weird Game Boys are cool. And subscribe if you're new and leave a like and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.